Hi, I'm Tommy Henderson here today with Henderson's lineup, Super Steer, and today we're going to be talking about our SS404 RR Radius Rod Kit. And uh, to do that, we've got a 2020 F53, it's the new V8 chassis up on our Coney lifts, and today we're going to be putting a set of those radius rods on the coach. But first, you may be asking, well, what are radius rods? How are they different from an anti-sway bar or a track bar? So let's come on underneath the coach and we'll take a look and explain some of those differences. All right, so here we see just the factory front end on this new V8 coach. And first thing you'll notice, real beefy sway bar. So this thing is two inches in diameter. Uh, and here is the factory front track bar. We've done videos in the past talking about what the difference is between a sway bar and a track bar. So if you haven't seen those before, definitely would encourage you to check that out. Uh, just to summarize, track bar controls side to side movement in the axle, either the front or rear. The anti-sway bar, that controls the lean and the body roll. Now today, we're gonna to be talking about radius rods. Radius rods are very similar to a track bar in that instead of controlling that side-to-side -side motion in the front axle, they're actually controlling the forward and backward motion in the front axle. And the reason we came up with these is because we found that on this Ford F53 chassis, both the older V10 and the newer V8, the spring bushings, which is what basically anchors the leaf spring to the chassis, to the frame, are quite soft. So if you rock the wheel back and forth, this arm is gonna be moving backward and forward and pushing and pulling on the axle to turn the wheels. Well, because that spring bushing is so soft, the whole axle is actually moving rearward and forward uh, in addition to the wheels turning back and forth. And what can result from that is just vagueness in the steering. People say that, uh, we feel like they're sawing at the wheel all the time. It feels like there's play in the steering. So we initially tried, okay, if we've got soft spring bushings, we'll try going to stiffer ones. We uh, went to polyurethane bushings, and the problem then is that the ride, which is already not great on this chassis, got even stiffer. So that can kind of give us some clue as to why Ford chose to use such a soft rubber in the spring bushings. So we decided, okay, we got to come up with a different way to solve that problem. That's where the radius rods came from. One hour later. So the radius rods connect from the frame to the axle on both sides. And what that does is just controls that movement. So just like the track bar connects from axle to frame, the radius rods also connect from axle to frame, but they allow the axle to move up and down, but not forward and backward. So greatly reducing sawing at the wheel, the steering play, and uh, just really improve steering response. We hope this video was informative for you in uh, explaining the difference between radius rods, track bars, and sway bars, and helping you understand what radius rods do. If you enjoyed it, we definitely encourage you to like and subscribe. Please comment below. Uh, you can follow for uh, content like this, as well as uh, content on other aspects of uh, RVs. And until next time, we wish you safer and happier driving. Thank you.